What's up? Freaks! Let's get set up. Let's get started. You know, today is December 1st, and it happens to fall on a Tuesday, so that means we're going to be having our fitness test. So any of you freaks out that are just trying this class out, you're going to do this fitness test. See where you're at. It's just a quick, four quick exercises, one minute each. We'll have a two-minute break in between exercises. We're going to get warmed up before we start it. We're also going to get a demonstration of each of those exercises before we get started. So warming up for this fitness test, we do want to warm up for this first. So we're going to walk forward with big forward shoulder circles. Walk forward, shoulder circles, then walk backwards with backward shoulder circles. We're going to do this three or four times. Did you just punch me? Did you just B-I-T-C-H -B -I -T -C slap me? Walk forward with forward shoulder circles, backwards with backward shoulder circles. A few more times. Come forward. And then backwards. So the push-up the push up is going to be the first exercise for this fitness test. Just one minute on. You've got two minutes off in between. Four exercises. A full two-minute recovery in between just to make sure you're fully fresh. So let's all drop down for just five push-ups. Five push-ups. So the way you have to do these, your feet together, touching, heel to heel, toe to toe, your back totally straight, your chest touches the floor, and your arms have to fully extend up. Just hit five on your own. In through your nose down, out through your mouth, coming up. Just five. It's a joke. It's a joke, but that's just to get you warmed up, to get the technique down, make sure you do it the right way. Your chest touches the floor, your feet have to be together, your elbows lock out the top. All right, let's get some knee hugs walking forward. Knee hugs walking forward. And then quad stretches walking backwards. While we're doing these, I'm going to tell you the rest of how this test is going to go. So quad stretches walking backwards, whatever amount of space you have, and knee tucks coming forward. So do those knee tucks coming forward. Your second exercise, you'll have that one minute of push-ups, as many as you can get in a minute, two-minute break, and then one minute of squat thrusts. The way squat thrusts are going to go, you're going to squat down, jump both feet back, jump both feet forward, and squat up. So it's all together to do five squat thrusts with that technique. If you need to modify it, you just step one foot back at a time. So let's just get five to continue getting warmed up. Squat down, jump back, jump forward, up, down, jump back, forward, up. A couple more. Let's just go one more, one more. That's fine. Shake it out. Let's bring that chest open. Fling the chest open and stretch the shoulders. Fling it open and stretch the other side. Fling it, stretch it. So you'll do one minute of squat thrust, and then you'll get a two minute break. Now this is an all out minute. Like at the end of that minute, you should be completely shot, exhausted, because you're going full blasting, full speed, needing that full two minute break to completely get your heart rate down to get ready for the next set. And also knowing that you're hitting those same rules and guidelines every single month when you try this out. The third exercise, crawl outs. Let's try five of these each. Feet wide stance, squat down, crawl your hands all the way forward to a full push up position, crawl back, Stand up. We're going nice and slow now just to warm you up. Crawl it forward. Crawl it back. Stand up straight. Your hips have to fully extend at the top. All the way out to your hands. Cross your shoulders. You have to be lined up directly under your shoulders or past your shoulders. And let's just do one more. I keep saying five and then we're doing like four. Done. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Alright, we're going to do a glute stretch. Glute stretch and hip flexor stretch. So right here. Cross your leg and sit down to stretch that, that glute. Step down. Stretch the glute. You need to hold on to something, hold on to something. Cross the, the leg right over each other and stretch it out. Stretch it, stretch it. Cross it, stretch it. So the beginning of this and then is going to be those four exercises. It's going to take just a couple minutes, 10 minutes, and then we move on. We get into the faster pace. It's going to be a little slower pace on the, pretty much the test for the warm-up. It's going to be a fast-paced minute and then two minutes off. You need that two minutes off, even though it's going to feel like a long amount of time. The fourth and final exercise is a plank walk. So you're starting down in the low plank, forearms parallel to each other, feet together, up to the push-up position, back down to the plank. Right back up, right back down. Try about two or three of those, just a few to get them warmed up. You don't want to gas yourself out. You don't want to blow your wad here in the beginning. So just get two or three of those. So your elbows need to be lined up straightly, directly under your shoulders, under the floor. And your hand has to come off the floor and actually put your hand on the place on the floor where your elbow is touching. So you're not just going to roll up and do a tricep press to get up there. So we are going to get rolling right off the bat. Just shake those arms out one last second, stretch the shoulders. We're going to go to push-ups because we got to get this rolling. So think of this fitness test as your warm-up for the workout because then we still have a full workout after this. This fitness test is just every the first Tuesday of every month just to see where you're at. So let's do it. Let's get set up. i got a clock right here. Little freak show here will be down on the floor 
with you doing these push-ups. So it's going to be push-ups for one minute. All out. Chest touch the floor. Elbows have to extend. Your feet need to be touching. Heel to heel, toe to toe. None of those halfway down. And if you need to modify, obviously you modify. So whatever way you modify, make sure you modify that same way every single month. First Tuesday of the month. All right, we're going to get set up. Push-up position. Get ready. Are you set? Are you set? We're on a few different screens here, a few different cameras here. Let's get up. Push-up position. Get ready. Get ready. Get down. Going in three, two, one, and boom. I need a minute all out of push-ups for you. Your arms need to fully... What the hell are those? Are you kidding? Bring your arms all the way up. Those first ones are quarter reps. I have you on video. Yeah, stop too. Yeah, stop. That's going to help you. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Drive it up there. Elbows need to fully extend. You're 15 seconds in. You got 45 seconds to go. All out push-ups, as many as you can get. Chest touch the floor. Elbows lock out at the top. Just for one minute. One minute. This is what we do the first Tuesday of every month. You still got, you're only 30 seconds in. Because you're not extending up. I hate to tell you that. 30 seconds to go. Elbows have to lock at the top every single time. Your chest touches the floor. Your feet have to be touching. Literally, not even fit this far apart. Touching. Heel to heel, toe to toe. If you need to, you modify it, you put your feet apart, you do what you got to do, and then just do it that same way every time. You got 15 seconds to go still. All the way up there, all the way up there. Lock it out. Drive up, drive up. Can you see on the camera there? The Facebook one. Five seconds, five seconds, burn them out. Pump it, pump it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Two, one, time. If you didn't complete the rep, it doesn't count. The two minutes clock starts right now. Two minutes on the clock for recovery. Even though you think you don't need, it's only been a minute of work. Really, if, this is, if we were in the workout, you wouldn't need a full two-minute break right now. But for this test, to keep the same parameters every week, the same guidelines so you can judge your progress, we're exactly two-minute break every single time. It's going to be a squat thrust. Again, I'll show it to you again just so you can see it. You're squatting down, jumping back, jumping in, coming up. So you have to go come down to a full push-up position. You have to stand up totally straight where your hips are forward. So you can't do this and just stay slumped forward. That's actually how the world record holder, I know on the internet you like to call them burpees, right? And you do them 18 different ways, you call it the same thing. The world record holder for, for burpees is like, I don't know, some ridiculous amount in a short amount of time. But that's all they had to do is take their hands off the floor for it to be considered a burpee in the Guinness Book of World Records. So literally this is what it looked like. Since you have a break, I'm just going to show you. And they call that world record. As long as their hand, it is. This lady did it. I don't know how her back didn't freaking blow out or whatever. All right, so we're on the clock. We have 45 seconds to go, and then we have one minute. It needs to be all out of squat thrust. I'm talking about you bury yourself in one minute. It needs to be an all out attack, a minute worth of squat thrust. Down, out, in, up, down, out, in, up. But make sure you're staying straight up. Don't be like that world record holder with this squat thrust. So make sure your abs are tight when you jump your feet back. You got less than 30 seconds. I'll call it out when it's time to go. We need to stay to a strict two minute break even though you feel like you don't need it now don't worry you need it to get a full maximum effort on your test and then we're going to get into the full workout from here after this test it's just four quick exercises one minute each got about 10 seconds 10 seconds going in five four three two one and go one minute of squat thrust stand up totally straight like little freak show is here Straight up in the air every time. So it's down, out, in, up. Hips straight forward. Hips have to fully extend. Fast as you can. See, I'm snapping those hips forward every time. Abs are tight when you jump the feet back. Your feet need to jump all the way back to a full push up position. So you can't be in a modified knee bent floor humping position. Keep pumping it. Keep pumping it. That's only 30 seconds. Where are you at? 20. You better go faster than that. All the way down, down, out. Straight. Pump it, pump it, pump it. 20 seconds to go. 20 seconds, freak shows. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Bang, bam, bam, bam. A few more. All the way up straight. Throw those hips forward. You have to fully extend. You have to get that extra pop at the top. That's your break anyway. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Shit, I gotta watch the clock. And time. If you didn't finish that last one, I said time it doesn't count. Was that last one didn't count? Two minutes. Two minutes break. And crawl outs coming up. Crawl outs coming up. So keep track of your numbers. Make sure your technique was on point. And if you know you bullshit on some of the technique, you need to minus off the reps that were no freaking good. There's no point to get some crazy ass high number with shitty technique. It's just a waste. It's a cheat. It's just cheating yourself. It's lying. No point. 
Integrity check. So next is going to be crawl outs. I'll show you the crawl outs again while you're on recovery. When you're recovering here, you should be stretching the chest, the shoulders, the quads. Crawl out. Feet are going to be wide in the shoulder width. Squat down all the way out. Full push up position. Crawl back in. Stand up straight. Hips extend at the top again. So out to the full push up position. So your hands come at least as far as your shoulders or even past. You can't just crawl out your hands here. They have to pass your shoulders. All right, where are we at on the clock? We still have 50 seconds to go. 50, five, zero. So you should be using this. Get deep breaths, catch your breath. Quick little sip. Hydrate, in through your nose. Whew. Out through your mouth, breathe it out. Getting ready for cross. Exercise three out of four. Then it's a two minute break. We hit the plank walks and we boom, we go on with the rest of the workout. Bang this out and we are done. Moving on. All right, and the rest of the workout is pretty much nonstop. It's straight through. Nonstop cardio, you need zero equipment. You got 20, 20 seconds to go, 20 seconds. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Crawl outs coming up. Get those arms ready, get the chest ready, the shoulders, the legs, the quads, the glutes. You're gonna be up and down. Make sure those abs stay tight this whole time so you don't screw up your lower back. Five, four, wider the shoulder width. Three, two, one, go. Crawl out, 60 seconds of crawl outs. Wide stance, all the way out, full push up position, all the way back in, stand up. We did this for a 10 minute test last weekend or two weekends ago and this little shit beat me head to head, face to face, and he beat me for 10, 10 minutes. How many was it? I did 146. 146, you 10 did minutes. 141. And this is real full technique going out to full push-up position. You got 30 seconds. 30 seconds on the clock. Keep rolling. Full push-up position. Working the chest, shoulders, tries, fast hands. Bring them back in quick and squat it up. Use your legs to thrust you forward. Use your legs to stand you back up. Don't rely on just your arms, but also don't flop over at the waist. You got 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. All the way out there. All the way out there. Full push-up position. Five seconds, five seconds. The breath has to be complete. You have to be standing up. Three, two, time. That last one counted. Huh? Two minutes on the clock. Two minutes for the recovery. Last one for this quick fitness test is plank walks. Again, I'll show it again. So from the low plank position, from your forearms, arms parallel to each other. Your hand comes off the floor and see it touches that point on the floor right where my elbow is going to go. So we're not just doing this. It's not to try. It's not a tricep press. So you're literally walking down, walking back up. Strong core, strong chest, shoulders, plank walk, up and down. Got a full two minute break. After this, it's on. We go right into the workout. Once this is over, we get up. I explain how the workout's going to go, and we just start smashing it for the rest of the time here. Again, first Tuesday every month, this is what we do. These four exercises, minute each, just to see where you're at. Get hydrated, get recovered. Should have some hydration with you. And ready for this round. You have under a minute, a little less than a minute for the, for before we start the final exercise, final set of this monthly PFT, the first Tuesday of every month. The air is blowing my notepad, so I'm gonna put a knife to hold it down. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. That's used for paperweights around here. See with knives or firearms, grenades. Grenades make good paperweights. If your papers are flying when you're out in the backyard, you put a grenade down and it holds that shit right in place. 20 seconds. <laughs> or you can do a plyo plank walk where you have to jump off your hands. Both hands have to jump off and come up. No, you're not with your feet. You need it even harder, you're gonna snap your back. Oh, eight, five seconds, four, three, two, one, boom, go, minute, 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 plank walks. Straight up and down, you see how his arms are coming off the floor every time. He's lost on one camera. Which one? Shit, way too big. So it's here, your hand is actually coming off, it's non-stop movement. 
It's only a minute. 60 seconds. You can do anything for a minute. You can jam a, a pencil in your arm for a minute and deal with it. Keep rolling. Keep rolling up and down. Shoot, where'd my clock go? 25 seconds, 25. There's no stopping for a minute set. There's no time for a break and to scratch your butt or whatever the hell you were doing. No butt scratching during a, a, a peak freak test. This is your monthly PFT, the peak freak test. You got 12 seconds, 12 seconds. Keep rolling. Those feet, I'm not sure about those feet. I guess we never really made any guidelines for those feet on this one. Five seconds, five seconds. You're doing a split there, very flexible. And time. Did to make it up to the top position. So record your numbers, write them down so you don't forget them because you know you might not remember them. We don't need the timer anymore. We're gonna literally jump right into this stuff. So listen up, every exercise, every round is gonna have just one exercise. Simple, or later on it's gonna have two exercises. For now, every round has one exercise. There's only a couple reps of the exercise, right? Only a couple reps you have to worry about. Like the first one is gonna be a high plank jack. High plank jack is push up position, feet just coming apart and together. All we have to do is eight high plank jacks. That's it for each rep. Eight high plank jacks counts as one rep. The thing is, before every exercise all day today, every exercise we do two push-ups before the set and two squats after it. So technically it'll be two push-ups, eight high plank jacks, two squats, two push-ups, eight high plank jacks, two squats. It's gonna be for a minute-ish. We'll see how it goes. We're not on the clock here. Now we're working on the clock, calibrating my brain and the time flows a little differently from the planet that I'm from. So we're gonna get started with this set right away. So just follow right along, the, the exercise, so all day, every set, because I wanted a ton of push-ups for you today, I wanted a ton of squats to hit it. So those are just the bonuses for every rep. You're gonna do two push-ups and two squats, bookending every single exercise. The exercise is high plank jack for eight of them. So literally, you're gonna start here, two push-ups, I'm going to angle so you can see my legs too. Two push-ups to start the exercise. Now the exercise is high plank jacks. So we have eight, two, three, five. Let's go. We're starting six, seven, eight. You need to come onto your feet for two squats. Simple stuff. Right away to your two push-ups. One, two, and your eight plank jacks. Bring it up. Finish off your two squats. And those push-ups and squats are going all day, so get used to them. I want to see how many hundreds of squat push-ups and squats we can get in. So get down there for your two push-ups. Eight plank jacks. Look at this damn space and you're up my ass. <laughs> Bring it up for your two squats. So the plank jack, you're in that push-up position, feet just coming apart and together. Eight times. You're gonna come straight out for this one so you can see a little different angle. Two push-ups. Eight, and up for two squats. Every round is going to be at least a minute. Some of them are going to take even longer. Let's go. One more round. One more round. One more rep. Unfortunately, one rep is 12 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring it up. Two squats and time. That's how the game's going to go all day. So right away, the next exercise is just a regular or sorry, a, a pop squat where you're just here. Pop, drop down, right hand, touch the floor. Pop, left hand. We're doing eight of those. But you know we gotta start with two push-ups, two squats, two push-ups, eight of your exercise, two squats, and we keep repeating that. So think of the push-up and the squat as breaks for the freaking exercise. So let's do it. Right to it, you don't need a damn break. You had three two minute breaks already, that's bullshit. Let's go, so get your two push-ups. One, two, eight pop squats, so check it out. Right hand taps the floor, feet together. Left hand, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then hit your two squats to recover. So you see one set, we stayed on the arms for double. This one, we're on the legs for double. Right back down for your push-ups. Two push-ups. So that push-ups is a break for the pop squat. Bet you never thought some push-ups would be a, a rest exercise. <laughs> Do the count. Count. Nine, oh, eight. Two. And two squats. Two. You can see if you do this the right way, your heart rate will start getting up there real fast. 
Go at your own speed. Two push ups. Pop. Two. There it is. Back down for those push-ups. Squats. Oh shit. Did an extra squat thrust now. Damn it. <laughs> Sucker. Just let the stuff blow together. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And two squats. Dang it. Time. So you get how it goes with those rounds. Every exercise starts with two push-ups, finishes with two squats. You have a sandwich the exercise there in the middle. And that was the, the plank jacks and the pop squats. But now, we're going to combine both of those together and only do four of each. I'll walk you through the first one so you'll know exactly where to go. It's still going to be push-ups and squats. We're just going to combine those two exercises together and just do four reps of each instead of eight. We got it? Last little quick stretch of the legs. You don't have much time for breaks because you used up all your break time during that fitness test in the beginning. So let's do it. Start with your two push-ups. Let's go. Two push-ups. One, two, four plank jack. Two, three, four. Hit your two squats. One, two. Hit your two push-ups. One, two. two. Hit your four pop, pop squat. How you know? You weren't even here for the explanation. You already caught on to it? I hardly even understand it. I'm the one that created the damn thing. One, two. We got that? Follow along. Two push ups. One, two, two four plank jack. See, we're just combining those two sets together we did separately. Come up for your two squats. One, two. Two push ups. One, two. Four pop squat. Two, three, four. Two squat. One, two. One more round, one more round. Let's go. Two push up. Four jack. Two, three, four. Two squat. One, two. <laughs> two push up. No. Oh. Four pop squat. And two squats finishes it off. So we do one round with a single exercise for eight, eight reps. Another round with another single exercise, eight reps on that exercise. Then a round where we combine them together for just four and four. You got all that? You should have this down ready. This little freak show can figure that out. He wasn't even here when I was explaining how it goes. He just saw the first segment of that and figured it out. Quick stretch, quick shake. This is not going to be a full break. You don't need breaks after this stuff. We want to keep moving. We want to get your heart rate up, get your body temperature up. Stretch those legs. So the next group, shoulder taps for a separate round, squat jumps for a second round, and then we combine those suckers together. All right, so shoulder taps goes first. Eight reps, don't forget. Let's go, let's begin. So shoulder taps is just push up position, tapping your shoulders eight times. Let's go. We know it starts at two push ups. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Jump up, get your two squats. That gives your arms a break just for a second. Right back down, jump back. Two push ups, eight taps. Six, seven, Eight, jump up, two squats. Come back, two pushes, eight shoulder taps. Six, seven, eight. Two squats. Two more times. 43. What? It's that six so long. Three. Five, six, seven. Don't be counting out loud if you have anything on my count. Two squats. One. One more time with the shoulder tap. That's two push ups. Eight shoulder tap. Eight. 
and two squats. So that one we were on the arms for double, right? And that alternates with an exercise that's on the legs for double. So the next one is gonna be just squat jumps. And yes, we're still sticking with eight. So it's two push-ups, eight squat jumps, and then two just by weight squat. So this, this, this half of the round, the legs get the double work. Stretch those legs out, because they're gonna take a pounding this round with those eight squat jumps followed by the two by weight squats. But we don't have much time for much of a break because we already did our fitness test and you use up all your damn breaks for the day. So let's get rolling. And you know it start with two push-ups. So the push-ups here literally are your break. Getting off your legs just for those two reps of the push-up. Unfortunately, to do a push-up, you gotta do a squat thrust up and down to make it happen. So let's do it. Squat jump is our exercise, eight squat jumps. Let's roll, jump back. Two push-ups. Jump in. Eight squat jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And enjoy. Ah, you're relaxing. Two body weight squats. Straight back down. Squat thrust down for your two push-ups. Right from this bottom position. Start. Transition right into jump squats. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, sucker. Two. Body weight squat. Right back down to that push up. Jump right from the bottom position. Three, four. Oh, you want to do quarter turning squat jumps? You're trying to kill the people out there? That was eight. And two body weight squat. Oh, yeah. Quads and glutes are starting to feel it. Three, four. Body weight squats. One more, one more, one more. How many sets of eight? Is this the third, fourth, fifth? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two body weight squats. Woo. Time. And you know now we're going to combine those two together, right? So that's the shoulder taps combined with the squat jumps. So four reps of each. Time to go work out, yes. So we're gonna be on, we did those two, two exercises separate for eight reps of each. Now we combine them together for four reps of each. Of course, bookending them, sandwiching them with the two push-ups, two squats. Stretch those legs and we're going. There is no time for any stinking breaks. Stretch them and let's go. Shoulder taps go first, four reps. Follow my lead, I'll, I'll call it out. If you have it already, go at your own pace, go as fast as you want, slow as you need to, but keep freaking moving. You can follow me, I'll call it out. Jump back, two push-ups. One, two, four shoulder taps. Three, Three four. four, two body weight squats. One, two. Two push-ups. One, two. Four squat jump. One, two, three, four. Two body weight squat. One, two. Right back to those push ups for two. One, two, four shoulder tap. Three, three four. four. Two body weight squats. One, and, uh, two. Push up for two. One, two. Squat jump for four. Three, four. Three, four. Body weight squat for two. Back down for push up. Two push ups, four shoulder taps. One, two, three, four. Hop in. Two squats. Right back down. Two push. Four squat jump. Two, three, four. Two squats. One more rotation. Dang it. One more set of each. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two body weight squats. Keep it rolling. Sit back on your hips and heels. Head up. Chest out. Half strong. Two push ups. Four squat jumps. Two body weight squat. Wraps things up for this entire segment. Time.
T-Rex, T-Rex fist bump. All right, shake it, stretch it. So you should have this flow down by now, figuring out how this is going. I'm gonna keep adjusting this camera because we're on the ground, you can't see it when you're on Facebook. So you see how this goes, a single set, one exercise with eight reps, then a second exercise, eight reps, then we combine those two together for four and four. Always doing those two push-ups, two squats on each end. Once you have this rhythm down, it's up to you to go as fast as you can. Or just stay with me if you don't have the flow, the flow down yet. Shake it, stretch it. We got low plank jacks and lunge jumps coming up. So it's the same game. One time we're down low the whole time for the double after the push-ups. One of them we come up high. On this break, I want you to like and comment down below if you're doing this live or you're doing a replay and where you're doing this workout from. And then I want you to hit the share button. Share this with all your freak friends and family members and coworkers who could use a good little sweat and ass kicking in their life. All right, so it's low plank jacks first, then lunge jump second, then combine them together. So you're gonna start with those two push-ups and you have to walk down that plank walk just like we did in the, the PFT. All right, I'm gonna adjust this camera down to the floor so you can see us down there. All right, let's do it. Two push-ups. Let's roll. Two push-ups. One, two, come down to the forearms for eight low plank jacks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Up onto your feet, hit your two squats. Remember, every exercise starts with two push-ups, two squats. Right back to those eight plank jacks, low plank jacks. First, hit your two push-ups. What are you doing, know, Zucker? Two push-ups. Down here. Eight low plank jacks on your forearms, feet jumping apart together. Five, six, seven, eight. Hop back to your feet. Hit your two squats. One, two. All the way down, back down there. Two pushes. Down to the forearms. Jump for eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey, back up to your hands. Oh, no. <laughs> we here doing a squat thrust on your forearms? Yeah. Two squats. Right back down. Keep rolling. Down to your forearms. One, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, eight. eight. Up to your hands. Jump up. Let's get one more set in. One more set. Oh, yeah. Down for your two push ups. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up, hit your two squats. So this is the part of the set time that doubles up on your arms. This next one is gonna double up on your legs because we have those lunge jumps. Alternating lunge jumps, gonna be for eight. Shake it, stretch it. Get those legs ready. Lunge jumps coming up. What's up, freaks? Who's following this along live? Let me know down in the comments what's going on. Put maybe put your numbers of your PFT test if you did them. Put them down there in the comments below. Hold yourself accountable for what your numbers were. We can have it on record to match it up next month. See where you are compared to last month if you did this last month with us. All right, let's do it. Lunge jumps, alternate legs. <laughs> two push-ups leads the way, going in three, two, one. Two push-ups. Hop up, lunge jumps for eight. One, two. Oh, this round's gonna suck, I'll tell you that already. Five, six, you can't do jumps, just do reverse, all same reverse lunges. Four. You can't do that, just do squats and knee tuck, or squat the front kick, you can't do lunges at all. Two, back down for push-ups. Two, so if you need to, modify it right here. You can just go backwards for all same reverse lunges for eight. You can jump and switch. Going to eight. 
seven, eight, two squats for the break, but not much of a break for your legs. <laughs> right back down for those push-ups, two push-ups. One jump, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two squats. One more time, because you know we gotta repeat these on the double round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two squats, and time. All right, so we're now gonna combine those low plank jacks with the lunge jumps. Now it's just four and four. So we do one round of four with a low plank jack, one round of floor, four with the alternating lunge jump. Shake it, stretch it, hydrate it, get those legs ready. After that warm up of a PFT test, you should be now your heart rate up. Sweating, pumped up, legs should be on fire, the quads, the glutes, get ready to roll. Because we are going in three, and two, and one. Begin, two push ups. One, two, four low plank jacks. Two, three, four. Hop up your hands, hop your feet. Two squats. A lunge jump portion, which means two push ups first. Hop to your feet, four lunge jumps. One, two, three, four, two squats. How many push ups do you think we're end up doing? Just by doing two at a time. At least 200. 200, you think? Yeah. One, two. That made me forget what you're doing, thinking about the number. One, low plank jack. Three, four. Back your hand. Up. All right, what are you doing down there? Two squats. Right back to two push-ups for the lunge half. One, two, jump up. One, two, three, four. Two squats. Yeah, you thought this was gonna be it, didn't you? One more rotation, suckers. Down for the two push-ups. To the forearms. One, two, three, four. Ha! Two squats. Two. Two push ups. One. Two. Four lunge jumps. One. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Woo! Two squats. Ha! Two. Shake it. Stretch it. Pumping it out. Oh yeah. Don't be looking at the cheat sheet. Wow. Stretch those legs. Stretch the glutes. Ooh. Oh man. Oh no. This, is it. this round sucks. Oh gosh. The rounds, I tell you, they get progressively worse as they go along. We still have a long way to go. Long way to go. This round, the first group of eight is gonna be bear crawl. It's eight steps on a bear crawl. So that's two push-ups, bear crawl for eight, stand up, two squats, back down, two push-ups, you stay down there, go to your eight bear crawl, two squats, and that's matching up with frog jumps. That's gonna suck, that is gonna suck. The rounds are just getting worse and worse, worse and worse. Embrace it, search for the pain, search for the hard shit. Easy is fucking easy. And, and easy really is hard. An easy life is a hard life. Easy life sucks. Easy life is average, is mediocre, is broke, is bitching and moaning and complaining. Hard life is successful. Hard life is money. Hard life is breaking your skull open because you're hanging on stupid shit over here. Bashing down metal poles. Choose hard, always choose hard. Of course you wanna be productive and efficient and not waste time on certain things, but in general, choose hard. Obviously it doesn't fit every situation, so. Don't say choose hard because, all right, instead of sending an email across the country, you can 
say you can walk that letter across the country if you want to be a jackass because I get comments like that all the time where they go to the extreme exaggeration like oh so I shouldn't send an email I should walk the letter across the country I've gotten imbecilic if that's even a word comments like that before on stuff you see it all the time on the internet warriors they'll put that dumb shit all the time hiding in their grandmama's basement wearing their tidy whities and their little Star Wars t-shirt and little cheese doodle stains on their Star Wars t-shirt. Anyway, we're getting off track. Let's stay focused. Cheese doodle. <laughs> All right. Is that a witch? I don't know. All right, let's do it. I don't remember the exercise. Oh, I didn't remember because it's bear claw. It sucks. No. All right, let's do it. So two push-ups. I'm going to start over here so you can see it. Two push-ups. One, two, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the bear crawl. Come up. For your two squats, right back down for two push-ups. One, two, and crawl for eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up for your two squats. One, two. Squat thrust down there. Two pushes. Crawl. Three, four. If you're not on my count, don't count out loud. No, don't count out loud. Okay. Two squats. Right back to your push-ups. Keep rolling, freaks. Keep rolling, freak shows. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up. Two squats. Are you sweating? Nice. What? You can see you're sweating for a change. Yes, I know. I'm soaking wet. It's called sweating. You should try it sometime. <laughs> I had someone tell me one time, oh, I'm just not a sweater. I don't sweat when I train. Because you ain't working fucking hard enough. I'm not a sweater. I'm not a sweater. I don't really sweat when I work out. Well, neither would I if I was sitting on my ass. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go complain. Complain. You don't like the language. Go. What am I doing? Jump squats? Do squats? You don't like the foul language? If the worst thing you have in your day is hearing someone say the F word while they're working out, on a free workout, by the way, if that's the worst thing you have in your day, you have a good fucking life. You should appreciate your life that the worst thing you have all day is some bald-headed freak saying the F word. If that's all you have to complain about for the day. Appreciate that shit. I'm going to make that to a Hallmark card. What's a Hallmark card? Like birthday cards like these deep sayings. <laughs> birthday is like the sunset going over the moon into outer space. Such a special cuddly moment walking along on the beach in the sunset. Or some dumb shit like that. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. But sometimes that's you gotta do. Go to that dark place and just flow. And look, <laughs> you can do this all day. You can do this till the sun sets. But just lock it out. Eventually, as I said, choose hard and hard becomes easy. This is a hard round of the day. But it's coming easy because we've turned the corner. We've flipped the switch. Where we don't care anymore. Where it becomes fun. Hard becomes fun. Hard becomes automatic. Hard becomes voluntary. Subconsciously making it harder. By yapping this whole time. Like this is a much longer round than it needed to be. Because it's hard. So we're going to do more of it. Choose fucking hard until hard becomes easy. And then re-establish what the definition of hard means to you. Time, time, time. And create a new version of what hard is. And keep choosing that hard until that hard becomes easy. Because if you keep choosing that freaking easy way out, your life's going to suck. Your life's going to suck. You're going to sit around. You're going to complain. You're going to blame politicians and viruses and face diapers and all this other bullshit about why you're not where you want to be in your life. Why your ass is broke. Why are you overweight? I sure sweat during workouts. Lost your shirt ages ago. Yes. Shirts are optional. Clothes are optional. Fuck. Just go with your clothes. Go pants off. Do it. You're at home. Shit. If you do it, just let us know. We'll, we'll, we'll send a request for you to join us on camera. That'll be entertaining. Let's do it. Pamela Hawkins did the Thanksgiving workout. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Pamela. All right, so now we have frog jumps. 
So this round, the legs do not get a break, but the arms do. So I'm gonna start back here again for the frog jump. You know, we gotta do our two push-ups first. Two pushes, one, two, now eight frog jumps. That's squatting, jumping forward, both fingertips touch the floor. Five, six, and if I look ridiculous, ask me if I give a flipping flip, and then two squats. <laughs> Hit your two push-ups. Push, one, two, eight frog jumps. So look, my head and chest are up, not slipping over at the waist. Six. Stop counting a lot. Piss me off. Bash through that screen. They'll just see you flying through the air right to the counter. Ah, boom, in your face. And the screen cracks. Like that gorilla. Like two. Gorilla. Which gorilla? All oh, that gorilla. Frog jumps. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two squats. Breathe it out. Let's go one more. One more time. Two pushes. One, two, and then we gotta combine the bear crawl with the frog jump. Oh yeah! I don't know what I'm on. I think that was eight. That's eight. Eight-ish, eight-ish. Time! All right, we're gonna combine the bear crawl with the frog jump coming up. So four and four, combine those two rounds together. Catch your breath. Stretch your shoulders. Stretch the quads, stretch the glutes. Get ready. We're combining those together. So to run you through how this entire round is gonna look, it's gonna be two push-ups, four bear crawls, two squats. Then two push-ups, four frog jumps, two squats. And that's a full rotation. And we will keep rotating it that way until the set is over. And then we move on. All right. I need to take a break. We want our legs to be fried. That's what it's all about. We can break, rest, <laughs> weakness. All right, bear crawl first. Two push ups. Let's go. One, two, four bear crawls. One, two, three, four. Come up for your two squats. One, two, right back down for your two push ups. Four frog jumps. <laughs> Two squats. Right back down for push ups. Two, three, four. Come up for two squats. Two push ups. Four frog jumps. Two bodyweight squats. Keep rolling. Back to those two push ups. Four bear crawl. Two, three, four. Two squats. All right back down for those two push ups. Four frog jump. Two squats. One more time through, freaks. One more time through. Get those two push-ups. Get them in. Full range. Four crawls. Two, three, four. Oh, Come up. <laughs> two squats. Two push-ups. Four frog jump. Two by wing squat. Ha. Ah. Time. Shake it. Pamela Hawkins is doing it right along with us live. You are freaking awesome. Thank you for joining. All right, next round. First group is eight mountain climbers. The second group is eight high knees. And then we do the combination four and four. So it's gonna be a very fast paced round. You'll know we like to match up Mount climbers are high knees because they're both very fast paced and we like to do them towards the end. So that means you might be getting somewhere near the back half of this training session. Back half. Shake it, stretch it, sip it, 
Hydrate it. All right. Mountain climbers comes first. It's eight total. So just four each leg on the mountain climber. But you know, we got to start with two push ups. Let's do it. Let's begin. Going in three, two, one. Go. Two push ups. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come up for your two squats. Right back down for two push ups. Eight climbers. Come up. Two squat. Two push. Eight climbers. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two squat. Sit back on the hips and heels. Breathe it out. Let's go. A few more. A few more. Down. Two push. Eight climber. Two. Shush. Four, five, six, seven. Not on my count. Two squat. One more time. Yeah, you like the sound of that, did you, sucker? Fun. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two squats. Shake it, shake it, shake it. It's going to be a very short break, like literally a couple seconds. We're going to high knees now. High knees. So it's two push ups, eight high knees, two squats, rotating through. High knees exercise, and then you know we're combining the mount climbers with the high knees for four and four after this set. We gotta move, we gotta move, we don't got time. We don't got time. So let's do it. High our high knees are next. Push-ups first. Hit our two push-ups. Going in three, two, one. Rolling. One, two. Hop up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You want to do more? No. Two squats. Right back down for those push ups. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two squats. Right back down. Two pushes. Two, four, six. Two squats. Three more sets. One, two, two, four, six, eight. Two squats. Two more. Two, five, four, six, eight. What? No. You want to add it? No. We can start the whole workout. We're going to do 10 of everything instead of eight. One more time. One, two, two, four, six, eight. Woo, two, two, shake it. Two, two. All right, we're combining mountain climbers with the high knees coming up. Four and four. Combine them together. This is the burnout round. The burnout round. Faster you go, the short amount of time we have to do it. And I could sense bullshittery through the internet. So I can feel through here, even though I can't see you, I can feel if you're bullshitting, if you're going all out. So if I'm not feeling your energy, who are you waving to? Moss. Why do you hit wave on all this shit? He's moss. You know that only creeps do that, right? Creeps and like perverts do wave. I am a pervert. There's the only people who do wave. <laughs> Wait, who's a, creeps. is that a bad word? Yes. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. Only creeps do waves. <laughs> Look. And you go and wave to every single person. There you go, waving. Yeah, wave. Okay, I'll wave I, I thought they deleted wave in like 1988 off of MySpace and all that stuff because the creeps were using it to their advantage. They would send it to all the little kids. That's what I thought. <laughs> anyway. Mother is a creep. <laughs> all right, we're combining these. We're combining both together. Last round of the day, burning out. Four mountain climbers, four high knees. We will be doing this for how many? How many? Wrong answer. How many? How many what? How many are we going to do? Ten. What's the word? How many? Very. Very.
very many is how many we're going to do. Very is a number in our household, if you didn't know. That took you three chances to get it. I am disappointed. But I don't... Very... But I... Uh, uh, let's roll. At least I don't wave to people on the internet. That's just creepy. This is a little cartoon wave. Hi, I'm a creep. <laughs> Funny. All right, let's roll. Push-ups, two push-ups. One, two, four mountain climbers. Two, three, four. Come up for your two squats. One, two, back down for your two push-ups. One, two, up for four high knees. Oh, little shit wants to just leave me in the dust now. All right, all right. You want to do a foot race? Oh, no. One, two, one, two, three, four on the climbers. Come up for two by weight squats. Right back to push ups. For two. Up for four high knees. One, two, three, four. Two by weight squats. Right back to push ups. We're doing a lot more of these. Last round of the day, we're gonna go out strong. One, two, three, four. Two squats. Right back to push ups. One. Two, three, four. Two squat. Two push-ups. High knees for four. One, two, three, four. Two squats. We're doing two more of each. Oh yeah. One, two, three, four of the climbers. Two squats. That's one of the climbers. Two push-ups. One, two, three, four on high knees. There's one of each. You got one more beach and we're done for the day. This is it. Two push-ups. One, two, three, four. Two squats. Two push-ups. High knees. Four. Two squats. Time. Ah. What is that? The Michael Jackson working. We are done. Shake it. Hi, Stretch I'm a creep. it. I, I will wait to I'm talking. <laughs> Stay away. All right. So we just finished it off. And look, you don't need any space. You need no equipment. Nothing. Pure body weight. That's it. Intentionally used just body weight to show you what you could do no matter where you are in the world. There's never an excuse. And that's why you can see it imprinted on the arm. Because no matter, you don't have need equipment, you don't need space. You don't need all that much time. Would you stop waving at people? Holy crap. You're like a MySpace creeper. So stop making excuses. Stop finding reasons not to do shit. Stop finding ways to complain complain about everything and reasons to not do shit. It's just too hard. Uh, I don't have the time. I don't have the equipment. I don't have the space. I don't have the energy. I have kids. I have a business. Listen, I guarantee you I know people busier than you with more kids than you, more successful than you, juggling more freaking hats and roles and businesses and multi-million dollar empires and they still find the time. Guess what it's called? It's called getting your ass up a little earlier. It's called having some discipline and consistency. It's called giving maximum effort and having a positive attitude at all times. It's called not making excuses and holding yourself accountable. And if you need help with some accountability, that's what this is all about. If you need some help with your training, with your nutrition, with your mindset, with your structure, just send me a message, send a message, a message down below, or just put it down in the comments and I will hook you up. We'll jump on the phone. We'll see if what, what program is the best fit for you. Whether it's the boot camp and the boxing training, there's one-on-one -on -one private training, private coaching, all different options for you so that you could stop making excuses no matter what. And, and, and there's free classes like this every Thursday, you know, it's a completely free class. So even you're a homeless person could do that if they have the internet. Well, they do, they got their phones nowadays. Really? The homeless? And speaking of that, listen, a homeless, there, there was a millionaire and a homeless guy, both sitting next to each other on the street. And someone walks up to them and he says to the homeless guy, he's like, 
hey, wh how'd you end up homeless? And he says, well, my parents were crackheads. My parents were homeless. They beat me. They abused me. So that's how I became homeless. They went to the millionaire. They said, hey, how'd you become a millionaire? He said, well, my parents were crackheads. They beat me. They abused me. And that's why I became a millionaire. So you can take your situation, whatever the hell it is, and either use it as an excuse to be a freaking loser or an excuse to be successful. You could be the one. Be the one to break the freaking cycle in your world. You don't have to just keep rolling downhill generation after generation. Break that cycle. Break the freaking DNA that your, your family tree has given you and start a whole new DNA, a whole different direction, a whole trajectory of your family tree. That's the way you need to be thinking about it. Quit with the bullshit excuses. I'm sick of it. Hear it every day and I see it every day. I talk to people on the phone every day, whether it's in the gym business, it's in the project, it's in private coaching. When I'm on the call, I'll call the calls of people and this, the stuff that I hear, it, it, it's disgusting sometimes. The excuses and the lack of accountability and blaming everything else but yourselves. Look in the fucking mirror. That's who you need to blame. That's what you need to blame. Everything that does or does not happen in your life is your fucking fault. It's your responsibility. It's up to you. It's on you. No one else. I don't care what it is. I don't care what it is. If it's raining, it's on you. It doesn't matter. Shitty life on you. Unhappy on you. Not fulfilled on you. Fat and out of shape. Yes, I said fat. Oh my God, I said the F word. Oh my God. Like, stop being so freaking soft and weak. Like, people will sit and argue about that. I can't believe you use the F word. That's just so disrespectful and it's not politically correct. Fuck that. Politically, politically correct is what makes people so freaking anxious and, and depressed and all this other shit from following these, these the standards and the norms of this bullshit and conforming to the bullshit that's going on out there and the fucking internet and all this other stuff. Anyway, get me all worked up. I'm going to start trashing shit. We got to go before I break this damn phone. Anyway, I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuse. I'm sure little freak show here has something he wants to share with you. Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. No excuses.